Hello, this is Stephen from Noise Pedals. Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at this module here with its rather fetching gold faceplate or yellow I suppose depending on your um, colour proficiency. Um, but this is the Endorphin.es Autopilot. It is a 4HP double tuner module and the 4HP means it's nice and economical in rack size. It's also fairly reasonably priced, at least for Eurorack modules. Um, I got mine for about £100 from Signal Sounds in Glasgow, who are brilliant. You should check them out. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is in dollars. The, you know, the Euro situation, Brexit and the coronavirus have all thrown the currency conversions way out the window. So if you're interested in that, I'm sure you can find out the price for yourself. However, when I saw this module advertised, I knew I had to get one because my history with tuning Eurorack oscillators is not great. Um, I've tried all sorts of things, guitar tuners, phone tuners, you know, modules with frequency displays and all that. And none of them really were that great to use. I was spending so much time tweaking things and trying to get them in tune and doubting whether my ears were, you know, letting me down or not and so this has proven to be something of a holy grail in the sense that I'm able to quickly tune everything and focus on making patches instead of worrying about whether things are actually in tune or not. Um, so that's great. Before I say anything else I should note that the module tunes to a fixed note of A and that's A as in alpha, not E as in egg, uh, because of my accent. You might be struggling with that, but it's fixed at A, the note A. So you can't change it. You can't change the note to C, for example, and tune to C. It's fixed at that point. You can switch the hertz from 440 to 432, uh, I believe, by holding down this button. But I'm not going to do that, um, partly because 432 scares me. Anyway, so the first way you can tune your VCOs, pretty straightforward, it's by doing it manually. Now, in order to do that, you take your output from your VCO, which I'll cycle down and hopefully you can see. Ooh, here's my Dixie down here. I've got a, uh, yeah, I've got a cable coming out and I'm going to plug it straight into the I'm going to plug it straight into the top jack, which is the tune-in tune jack. It's the top jack on the bottom tuner and it's the bottom jack on the top tuner because they mirror each other, so that's worth knowing. But anyway, plugged into this, um, you can hopefully see this blue light, which means that it's lower than A, so it's flat. Um, if I adjust the frequency knob, which you can't quite see, but I'll adjust it uh, clockwise, you'll see that a red light comes on when it's sharp and if I get it bang in the middle you'll see hopefully it flashes and it's in tune. Might be quite hard to see because the the red LED kind of overpowers the blue LED in this weird Mickey Mouse shape but it's definitely in tune. So that's one way of tuning, it's pretty handy uh, but that's not really what we want with this module. We want this module to tune for us. We don't want to have to manually change things about. We want to leave this set up, press a button and have our oscillators in tune. That's what I want. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll take this out for now. Um, there's a couple of things you need to give this little beauty if you want it to automatically tune your oscillators. And the first thing is a reference note. So you basically need to tell the autopilot which note is the A note or which note should be the A note. Now, if you're using a CV keyboard, it's probably sensible to make that note the A key. But if you're using a step sequencer, then obviously there aren't set notes. Um, so you can pick whatever note you want in that case. Um, for me, I'm using a step sequencer over to the left here. Um, and I've just set the lowest note to the A, or at least that's what I want the A to be. Um, so 
what we do is we plug into this jack, which is a middle jack in both, and it's called key in. So it's got a one volt per octave on the right, just to remind you. Um, plug in here. So that means that when the steps output from that, whatever step outputs, that's going to be the A when we tune. Um, second of all, what you need is a reference wave, and that's so that the autopilot knows that your VCO, eh, what the pitch of your VCO is. Um, now, the way the manual describes this is it's, it uses a, it uses the example of a module that has multiple waveform outputs. So you would use one of the outputs for your audio <clears throat> and another one of the outputs for your reference wave. Um, so for example, in the Dixie, there's multiple wave outputs. Uh, and I'm going to use one which is the audio output and one for the reference wave. However, obviously if you've got modules that have only got one waveform output, that's going to be a bit of a problem. And um, what I've been doing in that situation is just using the Beast chalkboard here uh, and multiplying the single waveform. And it seems to be working. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work. I'm sure there might be some far more uh, knowledgeable people who will explain if that's an issue, but it seems to work for me and it's good workaround. So you plug in your reference waveform into the tune in. Um, again, the same one that we used to tune um, before. And as you can see, it's flat just now, so it's flat compared to the A. And finally, what we do is we plug in the, I think it's called drop out. Yeah, it's called Dropout, which is a strange name, but that is where you plug in the output of the autopilot, which goes into the one volt per octave of your VCO, and then that tells it what note it should be at, what the bass note is. So I'm going to plug that in here just now. Now, I'm going to, um, because I've got the audio out separate, uh, I'm going to let you hear that hopefully, so I'll dial it up just now. So that's the, the note at the moment, you can see it's flat to A because of the blue. Now, if I press this button here, that'll tune this particular patch or this particular VCO to the A. So I'll do that and you'll hear it run through the steps. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring the VCO to the nearest A. So let's see if it... Look at that. So now this is at A, which is very nice. Now, I'm going to dial this down a wee bit just now. Uh, and I'm going to do this with a second output. Um, I'm going to try it with the multiple, as I explained earlier. So I've got a Pittsburgh mod, or Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh? I don't know how you say that. It's like saying Edinburgh or Edinburgh. But anyway, I've got a Pittsburgh modular um, waveforms thing over on the left. So I'm going to plug that into my Beast's chalkboard input and then I'm going to plug in I'm going to plug it in through a VCA so I can control the volume and I won't blast you but so I'll plug that into my VCA uh, and then I'm going to plug in the multiple of this into the uh, tune in so the reference as you can see, hopefully, I'll maybe zoom in a wee bit. As you can see, it is uh, flat. Now, if I play them both at once, uh, both oscillators, you'll hear. They sound pretty good, they're in harmony, but they're not, you know, they're not in tune to the same note. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug in step sequencer again into the key in jack which is the middle it's also set to the same uh, step so I know they're both going to be the same A and then finally I want to plug in the output of the top tuner back into the one volt per octave of the Pittsburgh Mobile Trailer Ooh. so <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to turn it up a bit so you can hear. But hopefully when I press the top tuner button, 
which I think is quite hard to see because of the glare from the LED. But when I press this, hopefully, it'll also tune to the relative eight and it allows them beautifully in tune. Oh, listen to that. Beautiful. Now one thing you know is that if you change the frequency after you've tuned on the VCO then obviously it's not going to stay in tune, it's not going to stick to that note. So if I, if I adjust the frequency in the Dixie here and then bring up the other oscillator so you can hear it, it's obviously not tuned. Um, what I've found there is if you set the frequency knob to a hard edge as in the extremity, then you'll know which point to come back to if you want to fiddle about with frequencies and stuff. So one other thing you need to be aware of, which isn't necessarily obvious from the documentation or the other videos that are kicking about, is that you need to keep the autopilot in the chain in order for the VCO to stay nice and tuned. Um, you can't unplug this from the chain and expect the VCO to stay in tune. Um, to give you an example, I'll turn up the Pittsburgh Modular thing. Now, if I unplug the output, which is the top one, which is going to the one volt over per octave input on the VCO, you'll hear... Now, of course, sounds like that because I've taken out and there's no steps, but if I plug in the step sequencer directly into the one volt over octave, you'll hear it's a totally different note. Um, so for that reason, you need to keep it in the chain. This is this is a wee bit of a pain uh, because it means that if you've got four oscillators, for example, um, and you want to keep them all auto-tuned, then you're going to have to get more than one of these modules. It's not too bad considering the price and considering they are only 4 HP, but it is something to be aware of. I think one of the things you assume is that with a tuner you're able to plug in and out and use it for different things, but it's not like that. As a final thought, um, I've seen some people questioning whether or not the autopilot can be a fix for VCOs that have got bad tracking and as far as I'm aware that isn't the case. All it does is set the bass note. Um, it doesn't correct tracking across the range. So if you're looking for a solution for that, this is not the one, unfortunately. So yeah, that is the autopilot by Endorphin. It's fairly straightforward. If you're having tuning problems, I feel bad for you, son. Get the autopilot and you'll be fine.